In this video, we are going to look at travel graphs based on question 23 of the 2023 grade 12 mathematics paper 1. So the question reads, the diagram shows the speed time graph of a car during a period of t seconds. Alright, so you can see that this was the journey of the car for the period of t seconds. Now, the first question says, find the acceleration of the car during the first 8 seconds. Alright, so they want you to find the acceleration of the car during the first 8 seconds. So the 8 seconds are here. And then when you see a line, a steep line go, going up like this, this means that this is the acceleration. Okay, if there was another line, a steep line going down like this from top to, to down, then we have deceleration. But in this case, they want us to find the acceleration in the first eight seconds so to find the acceleration in the first eight seconds first of all we are going to collect information so you can see that the journey started from here where there is zero so meaning the initial ve velocity u is equal to zero okay then the final velocity v is nine this is the final velocity the highest velocity that the car reached so v which is the final velocity is 9. Alright, then time is 8, 8 seconds. So, acceleration is given by the formula. Acceleration is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity u over time. Okay, so the final velocity v is 9. So, we're going to say 9 minus u, the initial velocity is 0, then over time time is eight time is eight seconds so nine minus zero is just nine over eight how many eights are in nine they are there one remainder one over eight so because this is acceleration it's going to be meters per second squared so this is the acceleration this is actually part a Okay, and we're saying meters per second because the speed is in meters per second. Then the second question says, find the distance covered in the first 14 seconds. So find the distance covered in the first 14 seconds. 14 seconds is here. So they want you to find the distance that the car traveled from here to there up to here, up to where 14 is, 14 seconds is. All right, now when you look at this shape that is being formed when the car moved from zero up to here up to here where 14 is when you look at this shape this shape is a trapezium okay this shape is a trapezium so for us to find the distance we are going to use the formula for finding the area of a trapezium all right so from here to here this is a this is a and then from here to there it's b according to the tra trapezium then from here to there that's a height so this is the height okay so this is b so we're going to say distance is equal to half times a plus b times h okay so now let's pick from here a what is the distance from here to there to find the distance from here to there we are going to say 14 minus 8 14 minus 8 is 6 so a is 6 so we are going to so we are going to have half a is 6 plus b is 14 so b is 14 then the height from here to there is 9 so we are multiplying by 9 and then we are going to have half 6 plus 14 is 20 then times 9. We can cross cancel. 2 into 2 is 1. 2 into 20 is 10. So we are having 10 times 9 is 90 meters. So this means that the car took 90 meters to travel in the first 14 seconds. The last question says, find the value of t if the average speed of the car is seven meters per second so they want you to find the value of time here t is here 
Now, how are you going to find the value of t given the speed? So, to find the value of t given speed, we are going to use the formula for finding speed. Speed is equal to distance over, over time. Now, what have we been given? We have been given the speed. So, speed we've been given as 7 meters per second. Do we know the, the distance? Distance, we don't know it. So this means that for us to find t, first of all, we need to find the distance. Remember, we found that we, it took 90 meters to travel in 14 seconds. So first of all, we are going to find the distance. Distance is equal to 90 meters, which the car covered in the first 14 seconds. Plus, now, when you look at this shape here, this shape is a trapezium. Okay, this is a trapezium. So for us to find the distance here, we are going to use the formula for finding the area of a trapezium, which is half A plus B times H. So we are going to say half a plus B times H. So what we have to do now is to find what A and B and H is. Okay? So this trapezium is facing up. Okay? So the distance from here to there is A. Then the distance from here up to here is, is B. Then this is the height of the trapezium. Okay? T minus 14 t minus 14 all right so the distance from here to there which is a is 7 okay so we're going to replace uh so we have 90 plus half times a is 7 plus b is the distance from here to there which is 9 so plus 9 then the height the height we're going to say t minus 14 so that's the height the height is t minus 14 so we just have to solve this to find the distance the expression of the distance so we're going to have 90 plus half 7 plus 9 is 16 times t minus 14 we can cross cancel here 2 into 2 1 2 there 8 so we are having 90 plus 8 times t minus 14, like this. So we're having 90 plus 8 times t is 8t. 8 times uh, negative 14 is negative 112. Collecting like terms together, we are going to have 8t. We are collecting like terms together, minus 112. Then this is a positive, so it will, it will be plus 90, which is going to be equal to 8t. Negative 112 plus 90 is negative 22. Okay, so this is the expression of the distance. So now, to find the value of t, we are going to say, we are going to use the formula, speed is equal to distance over time. So speed, we are given speed as 7 meters per second, so where the speed here, we are going to replace 7 is equal to distance. We will replace this 8t minus 22 over time is the t that we are looking for. Time is the t that we are looking for. So we we'll put t. All right. So we cross multiply. t times 7, we we'll have 7t is equal to. 8t minus 22 minus 22 like this now collecting like terms together we subtract 8t on both sides 8t then this side we are going to have negative t is equal to this becomes a 0 negative 22 dividing by negative 1 on both sides we we'll have t being equal to 22 seconds so the value of t is 22 seconds Thank you very much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe, hit the like button, comment, and share.